Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Schultz and I am here with another kind of product review for you today. If you don't know and you haven't been watching my channel, I basically take all of your suggestions, everything that you tell me that you've seen online, on social media, that looks really cool and you wanna try it out, but then you send it to me first so that I can try it for you and I can tell you if it was a win or a complete bust. So you know whether or not you should actually buy it. Now, most of you know if you've been watching my channel and my videos that I typically get products from Amazon. It's just easier, I'm a Prime member, ships really fast. Plus I think most of the products that you guys request for me to review are Amazon products. And that seems to be like a hot trend on TikTok and stuff, like things on Amazon you didn't know you needed, or Amazon top picks of the week. I don't know, I just always see like Amazon product reviews, which is why I'm assuming you guys send me Amazon products, but, but, you guys have been asking me for a long time to review Wish products. Now, I have to be honest, I don't typically shop from Wish or on Wish, that website at all. I know Wish, I've seen other review channels and videos that review stuff from Wish because all the items are really, really inexpensive, but I don't buy stuff from Wish just because, well, actually, I'll tell you why I don't buy from Wish. Like, I have a little secret, but I'll leave that till the end of the video. Trust me, you're gonna wanna wait and hear it because I have some insider knowledge and I'm gonna help you out if you wanna get the same type of deals or even cheaper deals. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait till the end. But anyways, like I was saying, I don't typically shop on Wish. Actually, I never have before right now, but since you guys were asking and begging and that's all I heard in the comments and DMs, I did it for you. The funny thing is, you guys didn't really tell me what to get on Wish. I don't think you guys even really cared. You were just like, hey, can you review Wish products? So that's really broad. I went on Wish and I was like, what am I going to buy? What am I going to review? And then I just decided, I need clothes for the summer, so why not buy some clothes and see when they show up if they're actually the same kind of clothes that I saw in the pictures when I was purchasing them or if I'm completely disappointed. So that's what I did. We are reviewing some Wish Summer attire. The first piece I decided to get was the ladies long dress elegant butterfly sleeveless dress loose plus size casual beach dress small to 5XL G. The reason why I got it is obviously because it looks super cute in the picture. I think it was a safe bet because it's not form fitting. It's kind of just like a big long dress. So it looked comfortable and probably I would assume I would guess that it would fit me. Regardless of the sizing and how big and how small it runs, it's not really meant to be form fitting. So I decided just to go with it and I went with the yellow one. And about mm, three weeks, a month later, it takes a long time to ship from Wish, I got this. Here it is. It actually looks pretty similar to the picture that I saw. I mean, the pattern is pretty similar. It is long. The cut is about the same. It has pockets. It's bright yellow. I mean, the tag that says medium was sewn on upside down, but that's okay. I didn't really know what to expect in terms of material. Like, I didn't know if the print was gonna be right on the material, if there was gonna be like an undergarment and then lace on top. You can't really tell with these pictures, but I mean, I'm relatively happy with the way it looked when I took it out of the package, especially for the price. Now, all that's left is to try it on and see if it fits well. I kinda like it. Like, I have to tell you, you can tell that it's pretty cheap. 
The material's not great. It's really, really thin. There's not a lot of give. It's not stretchy, but it's still okay. Like I said, for the price, I wasn't really expecting much, and it does kind of match the picture. I think this would be really good over like a bathing suit during the summer if we're hanging out by the pool. Let's face it, I'm getting a little bit older. I like myself a good moo moo, and I feel like this is a really cute version of a moo moo. The only two things that I did notice was there was a little flap on the inside by the neck that you have to make sure you tuck in, otherwise it'll stick out of the neck. And the other thing I noticed is there's some loose pieces of thread that I guess you could just cut off or tuck in. This one's in the pocket. No, this one is not in the pocket. Yeah, this one I'm gonna have to cut off. I thought there was one that was like sticking out of the pocket. Oh yeah, it is. It's right up here. So you could tuck it into the pocket if you want, or you could just like cut it. But overall, it's pretty good. The second piece I decided to purchase from Wish was the plus size fashion. Why do I keep buying plus size? I guess I'm kind of plus size. I think I'm just going for a looser fit. Like I am not the type of person who wants like skin tight stuff anymore. I'm not trying to work for my summer bod. I'm trying to like, just have clothes that work with the bod I already have during the summer. But anyways, this was the plus size fashion summer dress, sexy woman, casual sleeveless, beach short dress, tassel solid white mini lace dress. I did not get the white one, I got the black one. This one was a little bit sexier because it had lace and because it was short and it was um, also sleeveless. I mean, I guess they're all sleeveless, but this one was short and it had lace, but I went with the black. I'm a mom, my kids spill stuff all over me, so I can't go with the white. Honestly, same thing again. It pretty much looks like it did in the picture. I mean, there's some like strings and thread that's hanging off of it. So it's not like the best quality. It does have the little tassels. It is lace, it is pretty short. It's the same kind of lacy pattern that I saw in the picture. The only thing I noticed that I wasn't stoked about is it's way more see-through than I thought it was gonna be. Can you see this? Can you see my face through it? I mean, I can see the camera right through. So I knew it was gonna be super, super see-through. I was hoping that I can wear this as a dress during the summer, but it seems like I'll probably have to wear it as a cover-up over a bathing suit or maybe like over G, I don't know, I don't know. It's just see-through, so I had to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. However, I did decide to try it on so that we can see how it worked, how it fit, if it looked like it did on the model in the picture, which no, it doesn't look like it did in the picture on the model on Wish because I don't look like that model, but I am pretty happy with the way it fit. Again, it looks similar to the dress I purchased in the picture on Wish. So I am not really disappointed. Even though there's strings coming off it everywhere. By the way, I did not put a lot of effort into styling these dresses, obviously, when I tried them on and showed you guys. I feel like they would probably be a lot cuter if I styled them the way they did in the pictures on Wish. Like maybe if I had my hair to the side in a braid and had on a straw hat and the glasses and was like boho chic California girl, then it would probably be cuter. I did not do that. Obviously, I, the only effort I put into this was putting on a pair of heels. I don't know why I opted for a pair of heels. I guess because I think it makes my legs look better in these dresses. But like that's the only effort I put into this try on. Last but not least was another plus size item. I got the new plus size summer woman casual sleeveless rompers jumpsuit solid color suspender trousers loose overalls. These just looked so comfortable to me. And I love kind of like an overall romper, jumper type of getup. It's just easy, comfy, great for summer, especially if it's lightweight and it's gonna be like little spaghetti straps. So I decided to go for that and I wanted to go for the army green color. And here it is. Can I be honest? This is kind of boring because there's like a trend going on here. It looks pretty similar to the one I saw in the picture. Again, it took a while to ship and get to me. Um, the cut is the same. The color is the same. The style is the same. 
This is a medium. This one is super stretchy. What is this material? It's like a nylon material nylon stretchy spandex material anyway it's kind of like a cheap material again you can feel it is not expensive it is not necessarily well made it is really cheap but it works and you're getting what you paid for again i tried it on again same thing as the other two it fit pretty well it is really comfortable it looks like it did in the picture it's just made not that great and pretty cheap and really thin and kind of flimsy it probably won't last that long but it will last at least the summer which is all i got it for it's fine it's kind of like when i was younger and i would go shopping at forever 21 because they had really cheap stuff and that stuff didn't last very long it lasted like a year but i was like whatever i'm only spending seven bucks or something instead of spending a crazy amount of money at Nordstrom's or Bloomingdale's or I would go shopping at Wet Seal. Do you guys remember Wet Seal? This is like Wet Seal stuff. That's what it reminds me of. All this stuff is like Rampage slash Wet Seal. I am dating myself. If you guys are Gen Z, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you guys are millennials, you know Wet Seal and you know Rampage and that's what these are. So overall, I have to say I'm not that disappointed. I'm actually kind of impressed. I thought that at least one of the items was going to show up and it was going to be completely different than what I thought I purchased in the picture. That obviously didn't happen. I made three relatively good choices. They all came, they all fit me, they all look similar to the model or the picture that I saw when I purchased them. However, here is my little secret. I told you to stay tuned till the end so I can tell you something that I know and that I found out. Just like Wish, where there's a ton of stuff, you could pretty much find anything you want on Wish for very cheap, not a lot of money. There is also a site called AliExpress or Alibaba. I believe Alibaba is items that you can buy in bulk to resale for really, really, really cheap. Then there's also AliExpress, which you don't have to buy it in bulk. You can buy one at a time, but the point is for drop shipping and you can resell it on your own website or you can just buy it for yourself, I guess, if you want to. And most of the items ship from China. If you go look at these websites, you can pretty much find everything, including all the stuff that I just bought on Wish for less money. I'm not joking, I will show you. The first dress, the butterfly dress on Wish was selling for $21. If you go over to AliExpress, that same dress is selling between $10 and $12, depending on the shipping that you choose. If you choose just regular shipping method to the US, you only have to pay a dollar in shipping, which means it's pretty freaking cheap. Way cheaper than the $21 that I spent on Wish. Same exact dress. I actually wouldn't even be surprised if the sellers on Wish got it from Alibaba or AliExpress first, marked it up a little bit, and is selling it to you on Wish. The second dress, the lace dress on AliExpress is selling between $7 and $10 right now. Then the last piece, the romper, jumper, suit, green, comfy thing that I got, that one is selling on AliExpress for between $7 to $11. So now the total of my complete order when I went shopping on Wish was $67.45. That was including the shipping. I added the exact same items into my cart on AliExpress and the total ended up being $40. $67, $40 for the same exact items. Now, I'm not really going to stand behind all the products on AliExpress. It's very similar to Wish. You don't really know what you're getting. The shipping times take a really, really long time, but if you are looking to buy something for really, really, really cheap, so cheap that you don't really care that 
It might not work or it might not be what you were getting or what you hoped for. Instead of going to Wish, I would suggest you go to AliExpress and see if they have the same item there. They probably do. Also, every single time you see those ads on your Instagram for like bathing suits or clothing or phone cases, whatever it may be that pops up that has an ad on your Instagram, if it's not a store you already know or a brand you already know and it's really, really cheap gadgets or clothing on your Facebook feed, on your Instagram feed, it's probably a drop shipper. It's probably someone that got a bunch of items from AliExpress or Alibaba but they opened up their own website and they're marking it up and selling it to you for more money. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the secret right now. Go to AliExpress, go to Alibaba, see what I'm talking about. And that was my helpful tip of the day. The more you know, I should have like a little star going across the bottom of the screen right now. All right, I think that is it. What I am going to do is I'm gonna put the link to AliExpress and the link to Alibaba in the description so that you can go check it out for yourself. But if you do want to see some amazing gadgets and gizmos aplenty that I do use every single day, then you can go check out my Amazon shop. I will put the link to that as well. If you enjoyed this video and you like review videos and you like just shopping tips like this one, then you may enjoy my channel. So make sure that you hit that little red subscribe button. You can also turn on notifications so that you never miss a video and you can like this video too. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for the next review. Bye.